We are back in the garage today. It's very cold. Um, got the heater on, but I have to keep turning it off to do the filming. Uh, we're fitting the air diverters and the extra skirts that come with the ride out kit today with Jimmy. Jimmy's over there. So there are the Rhydox skirts already fitted to the car with the bottom lip painted black. Then we have this extra bit, which is nearly as tall as you, Jimmy. Oh, it is. That goes underneath that skirt and sticks outward slightly. Don't know why, that's what they decided to do, and it seems I'm going with the Rhydox kit. Unfortunately, it's what I need to do. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to try and line it up just so we can see what it's going to look like. Ooh. <coughs> And I suppose technically we could have it sticking out as far as we want. Yeah. But I think. <laughs> yeah, <probably. laughs> yes. Um, I think you're probably looking like an inch max. I thought. Yeah. You're taking off pedestrian's ankle. <laughs> well, it's. Well, did, should it not come out any further than the back wheels? Maybe. Well, I've got a bit stuck out the back. No, no, no. I mean, as in how far it comes out the side of the car like this. Should it not oh, come yeah, out any I, further I, than I, the back yeah, wheels? I assume we're probably lying with the back wheels. Does that look like it's lying with the front wheels here? You could come out a little bit if you really want. Oh, maybe not far off there. How far are you sticking out of the back of the skirt then? Because uh, you can come this way quite a bit. By about an inch and a bit. You have to come this way quite a bit then. Yeah. To balance it, I've got about three quarters of an inch sticking out. Yeah, I'm probably not far off. Right, so that's. You have to slide back in a bit. You have to get some tape to hold this in place and then actually drill it and bolt it. And yeah. then tape it and whatever. That would be the best one. Yeah. Alright, we should get some tape on it. <laughs> Going well. <laughs> this I've is got some clamps in the No, I haven't got the clamps in the van. This is the first attempt of trying to get it level. I think the only levelness we might have is front to back. I reckon it's pretty plumb that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me. There's not a lot to stick to. Um if I had the G clamp, the G clamps I've got are in the garage, I think. I don't think they're in my home. Otherwise, we could have clamped it. We could have clamped it to the skirt here. Yeah, that's how it should look. Yeah, something like that. The other thing is. <laughs> that's your thing. <laughs> The other thing is just oh, dear me. hold it in the right place. Stick, that was on video. And stick <laughs> and stick a stick stick a bolt in one side. Just one person holding it and keeping it in line. We're going to somehow try and get the drill in, you know. You didn't think about this, did you? Well, well I jacked the car up. Yeah, just and um, sound like Chris. Getting there. You sound like Chris. It's windy, don't me. Uh, I get the air drill in. Don't like air drill it. Friggin' beard. Freak. Yeah, where are you, Chris? Jim is here today. Where are you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm here freezing instead of you. We've been in a nice warm house. No. No. I volunteered to do this. Stupid. Yes, you did. I've got a pencil. You can understand why this is definitely a two person job because you can't hold it and line it up. <laughs> I'm doing most of it. You've got a camera. I'm yeah. holding it. Yeah. I'm holding it up. No, I think we, I think, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I think we might just have to. Just. Screw line one up, line screw one and drill it, and then bolt through it. Okay, let's do that. Right, we're gonna do that. Yeah. So we have a drill, <laughs> we have a fart, we have some bolts and some drill bits. Okay, then. overkill. <laughs> um, I don't have a lot of small bolts, so I decided we're gonna drill a big hole in them with people, two big washers and. People bolt steels to hold buildings <laughs> up and things like that. <laughs> overkill, maybe. Strong, yes. Well, we know that the bolts aren't going to give up. <laughs> it will be the trim that gives up. Ah, oh, you're doing? Ah, oh, you've ruined it. Yeah. Well, you tape. Uh, I'm ready. N number plate tape. Numpty. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you didn't say number plate tape. I thought uh, you just got out. I did. It's on top of the boxes over there. Three, okay. <laughs> so, do you think it should be a bit of tape front and back? Well, you just want to do like a few pieces of tape. Yeah. Well, yeah. So you're gonna have like like a bolt, a bolt, a bolt. Then you just want like a bit there and a bit there. Well, do you want to hold it up and drill some pre-drill some holes so you know where the holes are going? And then tape up after. Can do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we'll drill some holes. Don't break it. Try. Try not 
Trying to break it. Oh no. You put an hole in it. Are we going for four or five? That's your phone. So we're going for five. I think so. I think it will reduce the amount of flex, hopefully. Yeah. Then I think we'll just need to tape on this back edge and tape almost in line with the holes because obviously you don't want it too far at the front. Yeah. Then you'll see it. I believe so. Cool. Tape it. What we got here <sighs> is a failure to communicate. <laughs> Song references. <coughs> so Jimmy's gonna at some point line it up. I don't have to put the camera down, but he's gonna line it up at the back, drill through the hole that he's just drilled on the bottom one, straight into the skirt, and then he's gonna make the hole bigger so we can put the bolt in. Then we peel off the, the tape back in. That makes sense? That makes sense to you? Oh, you're talking to me? Yeah. Well, there's no one else here, is he? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're talking to the viewers. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Right, cool. So, we originally drilled five holes, but we can't do one there, because obviously the skirt curves in. So we've added extra number plate tape there. So that I'm just going to do four. Uh, I would have thought so, but yeah. I can't move it anymore, so. Yeah, so as long it as you hold it. Two bolts are there. Chihuahua. Okay. <sighs> Chihuahua. So it seems Jimmy's decided to hide himself underneath the car, isn't it? Oh, what's down here? Oh, it's water, I think. Uh, don't know, can't tell. Hopefully it's not power steering fluid or whatever was all over the place. Well, hopefully not from the passenger side, no. Um, oh. Jimmy can add a fifth bolt under the back of the skirt, which... Lost me nut. <laughs> uh, I'd like to show you the bolts. Can you see the bolt? Hang on. No, on my hand. There's a hand. There's not one in there. That's There's a hole there. Uh, hold on. There you go. There's a nut. No, that's a bolt. That's a bolt. Not, not to the side. Just do me a favour. Just show them the back of the skirt. Because I don't think people are realising it. Hold on. Two seconds. Push. Oh. Ah. Come to that. You can actually get behind. Uh, you can't really see. It's a bit dark. Well, you can get behind. Uh, it's hollow. Oh, hold on. Uh, 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 can you see the back? You can sort of see. Oh, you can see the top of the nut there. Mm. So, the top of the nut, bottom, bottom. So at the moment, the middle bit is a little bit saggy. So, once that bolt's yeah. there, ta da! And people are going to sit there and go, why the hell have you added another black skirt on a black skirt? I don't know, that's the kit! Don't ask me questions like that. I think it looks cool, personally, but especially when you add the air diver. Where's that? Where's what? Small drill bit. <laughs> Cheers, boss. So, air divers. Ah. Yum. There you go. Like that. Ish. Have I got the right side? Yeah, well, uh, You what? Have I got the right side? You brought the right side? Have I got the right side in my hand? Yeah, I must have, because of the way it's angled. <laughs> it fits weird. Steady on. That's right, you got a bit. You're a bit feisty there, mate. You're a bit feisty, that drill did then. Feisty one of you are. <laughs> oh, so many quotes in this video. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think two the hours ago. The thing is, I remember it from the in-betweeners, not from Star Wars. Yeah, that's where I remember it from. Fast. But, enough, I didn't even think it was Yoda, mate. I actually thought it was well from in-betweeners. How's that? Yeah, that's better. There's still a gap. Well, you could put box in until all the way along if you wanted. Yeah. We've just gone for five, a number plate tape. 
strongest part on the car now. I know. Five stainless steel bolts. This is not like my house. Held together with fixed foam. Your house is held together with expanding foam, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Best of ever. <laughs> huh. So we have one side on. Dude, it looks freaking insane. It looks stupid. That's the silliest thing I've ever done. I like it. Oh shit. You can't to be fair, can you? In, in, the, in this, in this light on the camera, when I'm going like left to right, all you can see is the light on the, the two edges. Yeah. Are you, uh, pretty much not what you can see in person. Are we doing the other side first, or are we putting this diverted thing on? Whatever we're doing for the other side. Oh, we can stick the we'll, we'll stick the air, air diverter on this side, yeah. and then swing over. We'll swing over, and we'll stick the heating on there because we don't have to film the other side. Yeah, that makes sense. It does. Cool. So now we're going to try and attach the air diverter. It goes loosely around there somewhere. Now, on track cars and that, they rivet them onto the bodywork or bolt them on. I ain't doing that because obviously I've got pretty much pristine paint. Did you want it there? No, no, left. Uh, a little bit more left. There. How many bolts do you reckon? How many you can get in? Probably two, three. Do you want to do two to the outlet? Alright, I'm going to drop the camera, guys, just because this is going to be awkward for him to draw. The diverter itself is held on with two bolts underneath that obviously also hold the bottom skirt on. And then we have number plate tape, or in America you might have like gorilla tape that you can use to hold that on. And you just need to make sure you've done both both sides. Which surprisingly this side was a lot quicker than the other side. I need some more tracky stuff. Anything. We're gonna now try and stick that thing on again, but correctly. <laughs> <laughs> correctly. The issue we're gonna have here now is popping this boot in it in that bar on the Garage. Do you have cloth? Uh, we'll figure something out. So we're gonna take this spoiler off now. Jim is just tightening the last bolts for the Batmobile. Obviously, these are the legs for the spoiler, the big wing spoiler. Whilst Jim is tightening them on, I'll have you know that the spoiler, the rear bumper, the skirts, the skirt extensions, the air diverters, and the front bumper was all from Grams, which is our sponsor. So, go check them out. The link will be in the description. It's a concentrating face, that is, Jimmy. <laughs> Hello. Jimmy, what face do you make when you go for speed bump? I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, glad you asked me that question, not another one. <laughs> <laughs> you alright? Yeah. Tight. Sweet. Spoilers on. Yeah, you don't need the wing, you just need the back of my build up. Yeah. Da -da -da. I do like, I love the duck tail in, in, in the boot lid. I think it's wicked. Mm. You can get an, a proper like, little extender, you know, that comes on here. It makes it obviously more of a duck tail. Oh, I see them, yeah. Like a half bike for a skateboard park. Yeah, pretty much. That's cool. So we're back in the garage, and unfortunately, Jimmy's left us now. So we have Gary with us. Um, so as you remember earlier on in the video, we fitted the skirts and the diverters. We're now doing the big wing. Because then hopefully it will look okay afterwards. Um, we have to readjust where these feet actually sit and rivet them into new places. So that's what we're currently doing. Of course it's a bit of a ball ache if I'm honest. But it's easy. It's not easy. <laughs> it looks alright, it looks better with its end caps on. I think I might do some sort of design for the end caps. Instead of just having black, I don't know yet. Now. So now the spoiler is attached, we've re-drilled some of the rivets and obviously riveted them on on the bottom. Put the base plate on. Yes, I know before you moan, that's not the same as that one. I've lost the fourth one, so I'll buy another one and replace it. But for the time being it's on. And it looks beasty. It does look really high in the garage, but that's because obviously the cars like a foot in the air, so it's certainly higher than the roof. Let me get on the roof line. Mm. And for those that want to know, they're only 25 centimeter legs. You can buy 20, 25, 30, and 35. 
Like you can imagine it like another 10 centimetres further up. It's crazy. And if you want to know where it's from, it's from Grams, as is everything else on the car. So click out the click the links in the bottom if you want to have a look. Okay, I've got a shadow on my face. Oh. <laughs> right, so we fitted the extensions <laughs> somewhere around there. And then further up there, this is really odd, we could do it on the camera. There's the air diverters, and then now we have the big wing. All of that was bought from Grams, including the back bumper and the front bumper and the wing. Yeah, all of that's from, from Grams, so click the link below if you want to check it out for yourselves. Uh, let us know what you think. Quick question for you. What should I stick on the end caps? Like, I've been thinking of sticking the Japanese Rising Sun. Drift pig, drift pig. He thinks it's a drift pig. Um, let us know what would you stick on the end caps. Same with the air diverters. Lots of people stick stickers and stuff on there as well. Is there anything that you stick on there? Just let us know. Leave a comment below. Well, peace out. Oh my god, that's bright. Peace out. Peace, Gary. See you in another video. Bye.